Hello friends. Welcome back to my channel Calibration Academy. If you are new on this channel, and if you have not subscribed our channel yet, then please subscribe this channel and press bell icon to get notification. And if you want the video on some specific topic, please let us know in comment box. In this video, I'm going to explain, how does radar level transmitter works. So, please watch this video till the end. Radar level transmitter works on time of flight measuring principle or time domain reflectometry principle. In radar level measurement, transmitter sends high frequency radar pulse that traveling at the speed of light towards the bottom of the tank. And these pulses bounces of the product surface and return to the sensor. Then the transmitter's microprocessor measures the time delay between the transmitted and received echo signal, and calculates the distance to the liquid surface using following formula. Distance is equal to, speed of the light multiply with time delay, divided by 2. Radar level measurement also depends on dielectric constant of a product, as it has direct impact on quality of reflections. For example, products with high dielectric constant values will reflect strong and clear pulses. And these products are excellent for level measurement. On the flip side, products with low dielectric constant values will absorb more of the pulse and reflecting less pulses. So, radar level instrument does not give accurate level measurement for these products. Now, let's learn about different types of radar level instruments. There are mainly two types of radar level instruments. First is non-contact type radar level instrument. And second type is guided wave radar instrument. Non-contact radar level measurement can be done by using two different techniques. First technique is pulse radar technique, which we have already discussed in first part of video. And second technique is frequency modulated continuous wave radar technique. In this technique, transmitter transmits microwave toward the product surface, and the transmitted signal is of continuously varying frequency. So, when the signal traveled down to the liquid surface, and bounce back to the antenna, it is mixed with the signal that is being transmitted at that time. And the difference in frequency between the received and transmitted signal is directly proportional to the distance to the liquid. Other type is, guided wave radar level measurement. This is revolutionary method of liquid level measurement. And it works on the principle of time domain reflectometry, which is also known as TDR method. In TDR method, a pulse is transmitted to the measurement vessel using a cable or rod. And the pulse signals reflected by the medium surface, and received by the processing electronics. The distance of the reflecting object or surface can be easily calculated by measuring the time difference between the transmitted pulse and the arrival of the first reflection echo, and knowing the speed of light. This is a simple, and easy to understand principle of guided wave radar level transmitter. Thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you like this video. And if you think our content is informative for you and others. Then please like and share this video with your friends.